everybody and welcome back to another episode of Try New Things. So glad you joined me here today. This is the third weekend in a row of using the uh, PTO chipper uh, to do a little brush clearing here on the property. And I can tell you, it's getting old. So what I need right now is a good distraction. So when you know it, Projects with JW rode in and gave me a good distraction for today. It is cold, it's like 22 degrees here today. But he writes, would you care to try a speed test app and see how fast it goes in low and high range? So that's the RK25. Haven't been able to find that info online anywhere. I've been looking really hard at the RK25 lately. So thanks for the question, JW. Much appreciated, along with all your comments. And I have no idea how fast it goes in low range or high range either. I can say that I'm probably wishing the RK25 had a mid-range gear. Uh, I spend all my time in low range. I don't think I've had it in high range since I, uh, since I first bought it. We're going to roll over 300 hours here today. But uh, to satisfy your itch, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a couple speed runs with the RK25. First, we're going to do the low gear run all the way down the end of the driveway and back, although I know I won't need more than 50 feet to reach the top speed. But anyway, we'll do that, then we'll come back and we'll do a down and back run in high gear. And if I can't reach top speed in the length of my driveway, then uh, we'll figure something out. But anyway, I've got the phone with the GPS uh, speedometer set up. I'll try my best to film it, and uh, JW will get you an answer. All right, here we are on the tractor, ready for our first run. There's the speedometer. Hopefully I can keep it uh, zoomed in.
Well, JW, just as I thought, didn't need more than the length of the driveway. Find out the top speed in both low gear and high gear. And you'll see in the video, low gear tops out about five miles an hour. Uh, it'll creep up a little bit higher downhill, but it's a good steady, quick five mile an hour. Now in top gear, I managed to hit 12.6 miles per hour. And uh, that's it um, in the length of the driveway. And that includes the downhill section going towards the road. The other thing about high gear is it's not good going uphill. So it struggled a little bit. Uh, obviously it got about five mile an hour on the uphill side, but didn't hit the 12 mile an hour mark till I hit level ground. So hopefully that answers your question, JW. Thank you very much for the distraction. It certainly beats chipping brush and uh, clearing back briars that I've been doing for the last three weekends. And since it's a sunny day, thought it'd be a good time to answer your question. If any of you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them below. And please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Until the next video, bye-bye. Oh, my eyes. Speed. The cold.